Greetings. So in this video, we are going to figure out how we can actually generate or create our Open API uh, key. That's Open AI API key. So I just typed in a search button here, a search query, and um, so if I do this, you see we have here. It's this is a blog. This is a platform. Basically, maybe it's this or this. So let's just go with this. Um, second query so platform that open AI dot com so I'm just starting the entire process as a beginner how we would actually do it so if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you love this type of content um, yeah give uh, a like a share and everything so uh, we all know uh, these are the current models uh, what um, that are available we have GPT 3.5 4 and 4 oh so this is the current one and you can see uh, this is the, uh, the the pricing and everything the details uh, the parameters and everything that actually uh, uh, these are different models have but what do they do they can actually do text generation basically about um, large language models they do more of generation of text um, retrieving augmenting augmenting uh, doing uh, text to speech and all those things so uh, let's uh, see how we can actually create an API key so first and foremost you need to sign up so I'm just going to sign up when you click on sign up you should maybe con continue with uh, if you have a Google account uh, signed in your browser you could actually go with that so I'll just choose one of these emails that I have so they need a verification code oops uh, let me just send oh okay uh, let me just put in the verification code um, let me just put in the number that I used uh, just, just 27 I hope it's this. Let me see. Okay. Let me just pick my phone. So it is um, six. Two one three six two one three two one mm, yes so we are back to our platform basically so let's get see how we can actually create an API so let's look to let's go to let's go to let's see if you come here as you, you can see I can actually create an organization and everything I can even create a project so let's create a project let's call this um, let's call it um, let me just call it test API So after creating that project, so we'll come here and now uh, the organization, then the project. So um, under test API, now let's create. Uh, let's see if we can create. Um, let's see if we can create our APIs, uh, API keys. So to do this, I think uh, let's first go back here. So the interface has changed. So let's just figure it out uh, together so to do this uh, maybe uh, you click on may um, the dashboard so when you click on dashboard you come here where the API keys uh, is so you click here so when you click here you can now uh, see that project API keys are have replaced uh, user API keys so they keep changing stuff so you can see that if you see view you don't have anything here here because we, don't have, we, haven't, we haven't created any yet so we are going to do this now so let's create uh, 
let's create a new secret so let's call it um, uh, let's call it test then create so these are the permissions that you could leverage so this is basically now our api key and yeah so you can actually copy this so i can copy this and then uh, i'll be able to use in my applications that's it for this video uh you've quickly created an api key that you can actually use make sure that they usually start with sk currently i think and uh, you can actually come and change permissions and do all those things so organizations you can have different organizations in your account um, then also you can create different projects under that organization so i think they give you a maximum let me just see uh billing let's look at billing uh, let's see I wanted to see how much they actually have for block rate limits let me see this is a project I want to see how much actually is available for us to use with these uh, API keys so you can actually enable uh, multi-factor multi authentication so I can't seem to see it, but let's just go here. How much? How much? Let me just say open AI API free. The free limit. So free tier limits, you can see. Uh, let's just go to the to this to documentation. I think uh, yeah, to just guide us in the red limits. So um, so let's look for the free tier. So the free one, uh, you have actually one hundred USD per month. Wow. Okay, you have one hundred USD per month. Uh, let me see the supported geography so this is uh, 100 USD that's what you have per month but then also um, there are different models there the requests per minute that you can actually do as you can see uh, for chat GPT 3.5 you can do three text embedding you can do 3000 so yeah the different models so depending on the models you're actually doing so on the different models you can actually uh, you can see this now image generations and do five images maybe per minute text this is text to speech uh whisper uh, three also you can just do three so um as you can see these are the different limits that you have for the field for the free version i'll leave the link in the description for you to check out the remaining things um, this, these are headers like an uh, API request headers so uh, that's it I think for this video and I already have um, a video that shows us actually how we can install OpenAI API wrapper Python wrapper on your machine I'll just leave the link also in the description for you to check it out so yeah that's it we created the API thank you so much uh, let's just look at the supported countries lastly before we leave so almost every country has it's here uh, let me just just to be curious let me check russia is here oops probably it's not here <laughs> let's see taki 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 is there okay so yeah i see my country is here so yeah just need to be curious because uh, they also limit the supported um, geographic uh, territories and countries that you can actually do so in the next videos i'll be taking you through how you can actually get it to use the api but also how to develop projects um llm projects rag applications a uh, rag is basically retrieval augmented um, applications uh just using generative ai and uh, how we can actually leverage them to build uh, some things that are actually meaningful 
Thank you. See you in the next video.